Sports along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Looking forward to this one. Final thoughts before we get this one underway? Really an important game. Really a game that the players are excited about. You can hear the chatter on the benches between the players. They want to get going. They're nervous to start. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. North Dakota's got the puck along the wall. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. Walker's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Stavitz has it in the defensive end. Sends a pass over. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Carries it across the line. Takes the feed. Here he is in close. Gets a stick on it to make the save. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Oh, and another big stop. Battle along the boards. Combs takes the puck. Quick feed to Walker. Puck scooped up by McKinnis. Puts it on net. Not even close. Not close to anything. The net's been the same size for a hundred years. The Hawks move it in. Manages to hang on. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Rant has got the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fabry. Blocked in traffic. North Dakota's got the puck along the wall. Puts it on net. Misses over the net. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Tees it up from the back end. Stones him on the one-timer. Near the point. Right up front. And that one stopped. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Moves it quickly over to Muzzin. Intercepts the pass. Oh, a clutch save. LaFontaine's had to be on his game. That's a great chance. Takes it across the blue line. A chance on goal. He scores! Jumps on the rebound. Get to the net, that's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. Minnesota's got the game's first goal as they lead here, one nothing early in the first. Always awesome to be in front of the game. You push the pace, you make the other team uncomfortable when you're out front. Dumps it in. Find some space in the corner. And that's broken up. Up along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Feeds it down low. Moves the puck behind the net. Chance in front. Gives them nothing in front. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Hammers it on net. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. They've got the defense outnumbered. Big time defensive play. North Dakota's in another close game. One of the reasons is positionally they're in the right place at the right time to intercept pucks. Quick shot, big time stop there. 
That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck. It's a forest of bodies in front of him. Myers brings it in. Quick pass to Brodzinski. Puck grab by Fabry. And he slides it quickly to Fabry. And comes up empty. Shot comes up with the stop. Here's a short pass to Fabry. Along the half wall with the puck. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Big time stop. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Past the midway mark of the frame. one nothing to score. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. Makes a save! Cole and Cole under pressure! Minnesota's earned their place at the top of the league with an outstanding season. From the goaltender to the way they've scored, they are determined to stay on top. The Hawks still have time to get back into it here in this first period. They've had the opportunities, just can't score. Off a stick! Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Carries it in. Lowers the boom with that hit. Just wide. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Rowney. Takes the pass. From the slot, wrist shot. Takes the feed. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. And that's taken by the defense. North Dakota's got it in their own zone. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. Pellick swooping in on the attack. Puts it on net. That goes wide. North Dakota's got a hold of it along the wall. And he comes up with it. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Knocked away. With possession along the wall. Let's one go. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot, nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. And he comes up with it. Combs uses his skating skill to get into position to throw this huge hit. The Hawks need to find a way to answer back here in this first period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Nice pass. Moves the puck. Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 he won't get back. He's not paying anyway. Pass to McKinnis. Quick feed to Ranta. Here's a shot. Comes up with a glove save. Stays with it. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to get the puck to Ranta. Picks off the pass. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. On the attack along the boards. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Minnesota's got the puck. Brownie's got it on the offensive end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Misses over the net. Now he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. North Dakota's down despite numerous scoring opportunities here late in the first. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Pellick. Gets in front of it. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. The Hawks gain possession along the wall. Here he is all along. There's the whistle, and we've got a penalty shot being called here. Tripped up on the breakaway. The ref makes the right call in signaling for a penalty shot. And the shooter lines up. Here we go. Converts the penalty shot, and we are all tied up here. I love to deke when I was on a breakaway or a penalty shot, but the trick is to freeze the goalie, sell the shot, 
before you make your move. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. Here's a chance right out in front, and they can't convert to the play. Through center along the wing. Pokes the puck away. Off the mask of the goaltender, boy, right between the eyes. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing. But I'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here as this hits him right in the face. Sends the pass over. Quick pass. He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been leveled. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. These are shots I think the goalie should stop, James. It's on the low part of the glove side. He just doesn't catch it. Minnesota's got a one-goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead Minnesota that you've just goal. built. Scored by number 24. Assisted by number 18. The goal. 19 minutes, 46 seconds. And that'll do it for the first frame in this one. Well, if the first 20 minutes was any indication, you gotta buckle up for these next two. That was a fun one. We got a 2-1 game after the first 20. Hey, fans, don't forget to pick up your team as both teams head to their respective rooms, we'll go recharge ourselves and get ready for a big second period. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Hawks played a pretty good period. They had the puck most of the time, but they trail by a goal. See if they can climb back in. Walker's carrying it ahead. Here's a shot and makes the save. Along the wing up the neutral zone. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Moves behind the net. Takes that pass back at the point. Handles the puck. Just slide to the net. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass across to Ranta. North Dakota's got control of it now from their own end. Back at the point, they set it up. Blocked in traffic. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Receives the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck behind the net. Johnson's got it across the line. Now a quick pass to Fabry. And he gains the zone here. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see the call here. Fabry's been nabbed for tripping. Trying to get to the puck, he reaches his stick right into the guy's feet, and down he goes. North Dakota sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Down one, a chance to tie on the power play. What a great chance for them here. But you can't stress, you have to be confident and aggressive, but don't force anything. Great pressure forcing the turnover. North Dakota's done a really nice job positionally tonight. They've stolen the puck every time, it seems, when they needed to. Well, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Quinn's going off for hooking. You get caught when you don't move your feet. Now you've got to reach out to slow the player down. He's in the box. Rightly so. They'll play some four on four. Sometimes you need grit, and you need grind, and you need toughness. Not in four on four. You need skill. You need guys that can skate and who can move the puck. Back on a stick now. 
Clark's got it into offensive territory. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. That knocks him off the puck. Right on the doorstep. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Routine glove stopped by LaFontaine. The Hawks have had a lot of things go their way tonight, except for the score in which they trail here in the second. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. And that goes off the side of the frame. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Slides the puck over. Denies him with the save. Their man's now out of the box, and they'll take advantage on the power play. Glides along the blue line. With the one-timer. Oh, what a save on the one-timer. And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. Really solid controlled stop here as the puck is deflected up out of play so everybody can get off the ice. You can get a fresh group of players out for the next face-off. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck and manages to clear the zone. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Moves the puck up to Pellick. Here's a shot, denied by the goaltender. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's a 2-1 game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Over the line they come. They've got numbers. It's a 2-on-1. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it. Not close up the wickets, Tendy. That thing's right through your legs. That's a pretty good shot. Goalies hate getting beat through the five hole. Is dropped and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Pellick. Heads deep inside. Off the post! McLaren's got it against the boards. From the blue line. And too much air on that one. Man, you're not going to have many friends screening the goalie, that's for sure. You shoot it over the net, they've got to dodge it. Sends a pass over. Denies him in front. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Tries to feed it across. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Takes the feed at center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. Combs plays it now. Gets the puck back onto a stick. Takes the feed. Here he is in front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Takes the pass. Along the half wall with the puck. Nice poke check. Here's the chance to set up now. Hard blast. Just misses. Not really close with that. He got lots on it, but nowhere near the net. Let's it fly. Great glove save. More than half the period has expired. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. And the long range shot goes off target. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. With possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. Big time hit. Myers carries the puck in his own zone. 
Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And he makes the save. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here. A little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, he misses the net. Not by much, but I guess it really doesn't matter, right? If it's not on net, it can't go in. Fair point. North Dakota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. The Hawks scoop it up along the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Nice pass. On the doorstep, right on the doorstep. Makes the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. From the point, they take control of it. Centering pass, and there's the save. In the final moments of this period, we are all tied up in this one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Chalk that up as a win for the penalty killing unit as the penalty expires. Both teams now back to even strength. Now the pressure ramped up on the penalty kill there as they go into that last power play tied. They do a really nice job. They keep the game knotted as the power play wasn't able to cash in. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. And that goes high, almost headhunting on that play. Yeah, he pounded that. That's not a very friendly shot if you're standing in front of the net. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. And it's grabbed by a teammate. Stavitz picking up steam. Scrum along the boards. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And the puck's kicked free. Moves the puck. And now it's over to Quinn. Moves the puck along the half wall. Hammers the one-timer. Answers the call with a big save. Minnesota's got the puck now. And it's kicked away. North Dakota's looking to break out. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Puck is dropped, the play resumes. And the middle frame almost done. Sends the pass over. Here they come on the attack. North Dakota's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a chance. And that's blocked away. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Puts it to the front of the net, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And there's the horn to end period number two, still tied at two apiece. With hot food and ice cold beverages, now's your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands located throughout the stadium. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. 
Moves it around along the half wall. Quick snap. Stopped by the goaltender. Another stop by the goaltender. He gets that one too. Moves it to McKinnis. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Centering pass. Knocked away. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Oh, and a huge save. And he gets the puck right back. Shot and makes the save. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Stavitz moves the puck. Ranch is going to play it against the half wall. Carries it across the line. Here's a shot. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got... Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. And it looks like two minutes in the box for holding will be the call here. Well, he's got a mitt full of the guy's sweater. It's tough to argue That's that fair one. To say. The power play unit goes right back to work. If you can find a way to get a power play goal here, you can change the momentum of this game. They haven't got one yet tonight. And you find yourself starting to press when you don't score. North Dakota's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Up along the wing. From off the wall and onto a stick. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Maintains possession of the puck along the blue line. Misses high. That feels like a wasted opportunity. You got to get it on target. Might have skipped up on him right before he let it go. And manages to clear the zone. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Tries to get the puck over to Ranta. Along the half wall with the puck. And he jumps out of the sin bin. We are back to even strength. Solid effort by the penalty killing unit here. Blocker save. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Looked to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. They didn't really give up anything. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. Pellick's got it to the side. Across the point. Just wide. From the place 99 made famous. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. The Hawks gain possession in their own end. Slides that one right across the blue line. Denies him on the play. Quick feed to Clark. Handles the puck with possession along the wall. Taken by Fabry. Puck picked up by Johnson. Nevins plays it into the offensive zone. Moves right to the middle. North Dakota's got the puck along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Shot, and that one's turned away. Moves it to Sorensen. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Handles it along the blue line. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Sorensen's got it along the wing. The Hawks have it from their own end. Takes it across the blue line. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Brodzinski. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. North Dakota's got control of it now from their own end. Throws it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Receives the pass. Carries it in. Puts it on goal. Off target. North Dakota's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves the puck along the half wall. Minnesota's got the puck. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. 
Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. It's all tied up. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Skates in behind the cage. Gets that puck back on a stick. Can't get it to go. Minnesota's gained possession. And the puck's not loose. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Slides the puck over. Feeds the puck to Quinn. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Through center along the wing. Quick pass to Ranta. Here's a chance on the doorstep. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guy back on their heels. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. found themselves a critical goal here late in the third period. Now a question is, hanging on, can they do it? I think they can, but it has to be by being aggressive. You're now into the last half of the period. The clock goes pretty fast if you're aggressive. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Send Ben down for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Well, this power play shows up at a rather opportune time. They're trailing by one, and now a chance to level the score off. Aggression will be the key for them. And that's blocked as he gets down low. Right up front! Sends a pass over. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. Big defensive play on that clear. Now yeah, Puck's got to get out, especially late. He does a nice job here into the offensive zone. Slides it back to the blue line. Fires it! Too many bodies in the way! Blast from the blue line! Great save with the stick! And the puck's booted away. North Dakota's got the puck along the wall. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air! Time for the official to pass down his sentence. We got a minor penalty coming up here. For sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Face off, and it's a five on three man advantage, but they don't have much time to work with it. The power play's been average at best tonight, and that's really the way the percentage has borne itself out. But they can turn things around here in this critical stage. Takes the feed. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. The Hawks have had more scoring chances, and yet they trail late in this third period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Trying to get it out. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Takes the pass. Booming shot, just wide. North Dakota's trailing in this game because they've not been able to capitalize on a multitude of scoring chances. And time is running out on this one. Here in the late going of the frame, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that goes wide of everything. Battling for it along the boards. Over the line they come. Nearing the final minute of regulation. What a stop as he puts out the fire. North Dakota's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. 
Brownies won the draw. Time runs out on the power play, and you do have to wonder if that might come back to haunt them as both teams are now back at even strength. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. The Hawks are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Dishes it to Pellick. To the empty net. And there it is. Empty netter. That'll seal it up. Pretty easy one right there for him to cash in. Now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. to their lead with the empty netter and Ray that's pretty much all she wrote I would say well you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game and they pull the goalie they're gonna pressure you you put it away with a easy one into the empty net goaltender has made his way to the bench the extra attackers out they need a goal here big time slides the puck to Walker Walker swooping in on the attack fires it down the ice and Two of these in my career. I was never out at the end of the game. Good 400 goals and only scored two empty netters? Yeah, when we were protecting the lead, it was safest with me sitting down. What an indictment. Oh, yeah. That should be enough to wrap this thing up. The empty net goal should seal it. North Dakota's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. North Dakota's gained possession along the boards. Walker's got it in the offensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Sends it over to Clark. Big save right at the end. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. Well, they were going to go down anyway but they pull the goaltender and then give up a couple of empty netters. I hated that. Why'd you give up the first one? What do you leave the goalie out for? I don't like that. It didn't make any sense to me after the first one, and they continued. They were, oh, it's almost like they were a glutton for punishment on this one. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.